Hi, James Green here with Actual Tech Media. And I wanted to talk to you real quick about something I have been checking out recently. I'm not sure if you've heard of Scality before. Scality is a uh, scale out storage technology based on uh, commodity hardware that you can grow very large. And uh, I've been aware of Scality Ring for a while now, but I just learned about something else cool that uh, as far as I know, is relatively new. I, I just heard about it anyway. And uh, this is something else that they have released called um, Scality S3 Server. And it's uh, S3 storage that runs inside of a container. And it uses Docker volumes to store the data. And so you could use this um, for learning, for test dev, and you can use this in production if you want to store your data uh, on a Docker volume. If you wanted to go bigger and more distributed, that's when you'd want to look at something like Ring. But um, especially, uh, I'm not trying to say at all that this isn't a good solution for production, but uh, I see it getting a lot of uptake in test dev and um, especially local development and learning kind of stuff. And so I just wanted to show you today uh, real quick how easy it is to try it out. So check this out. I'm running a, uh, a little GUI here called Kitematic, uh, and that's something that you can get from the Docker website. Uh, I believe it was a separate project that's been acquired by Docker or something like that. But anyway, you can get it from Docker. And it's basically a front end to launching containers and uh, managing them, that kind of thing. You can get to the Docker CLI you're used to from the bottom here, but I find this to be particularly helpful. And then if you go out, um, I'm already connected to the Docker Hub. The first time you launch it, you'll have to do that, but you see here I'm logged into the Docker Hub with my account. Uh, and if you just look for Scality S3, you should come up with S3 server here, this guy right here. And all you need to do is pull that down and I've already got it pulled down here so we don't have to wait for it to download. And by saying create, it's going to go ahead and fire up a container running Scality S3 server. And so this will just take a second, not very long at all. And what we'll end up with is some S3 storage that I can actually use like right now. Um, I've been looking at some Amazon certifications, the Solutions Architect Kind of stuff and knowing how to interact with Amazon S3 storage is an important part of that. If you're doing something similar or you know from a development standpoint need to know how to interact with the S3 API, I could see this being a really useful tool for you. And uh, it's it's something that I'm going to use while I'm learning how to use S3 object storage better. So uh, what I've got here is a tool called Cyberduck, um, and it's not in any way a part of this. It's just something that I'm going to use to interact with my S3 storage here. So it looks like it's up and running. You can actually see the, the logs from the container in the background here. So this is what it's been doing. Looks like it's ready for me. And so I just need to get uh, the port information for this container that was spun up. So I'm going to quick modify my bookmark here. Uh, it's the same address, but 32769. So I'm going to tell it to use that port. And we can go ahead and connect. And uh, it's using HTTP. Uh, I haven't quite figured out yet why this isn't um, using SSL. I want to ask them about that. I'm not even sure if there's uh, a good technical reason for why it's this way, or maybe it's just that this is meant to be um, more of a development sort of thing, and they left the, the secure stuff that you would really want in production out, uh, and you can only get that with the, the paid version. Uh, I don't know. I need to find out about that. But anyway, this is uh, just over HTTP. It's unencrypted, but uh, it's good for my purposes since I'm just learning. So, uh, And here we go. So to be able to do anything, um, this is completely empty right now. And so the first thing I need is a bucket. So in the Cyberdeck UI, it says folder, but this is actually creating an S3 bucket. So I'm just going to call it James. 
and now I've got a bucket and I can put something in there. So I'm going to just drop a little, uh, let's use a, an ATM picture. So I'm going to drop a little ATM logo in there and it's going to upload. There you go. And uh, by default, when you upload objects, just like I did here, the permissions are uh, pretty locked down and that's for a good reason. I'm, I'm sure you can understand. If I want to do anything with it, I'm going to need to be able to change it. So um, again, I'm just testing, so don't go do this, but I'm just going to say that everybody can read it. And now, assuming that uh, I did everything right here, we could actually go, Cyberduck has a nice tool for this. It will actually just give me the URL I want. Um, I can go access this in a browser just like I could with some other, uh, for instance, Amazon S3 storage. If I say, um, it doesn't copy the port for me because it doesn't know that this is running in a container, but um, I can just give it that. It was 769 and boom, there's my picture um, in my S3 bucket over HTTP. So. Real quick and easy way to get started using S3 storage and learning how to use the S3 APIs. Uh, definitely recommend you download it and check it out. And um, if you wanna see more of this kind of stuff, we're always blogging over at uh, actualtech.io. So go over there and uh, get subscribed, get on the podcast uh, and stay up to date with this kind of stuff. Thanks a lot.